Hello viewers, my name is Daya Ten Fingers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's topic, we're going to be talking about tape rule. Did you know how to read your tape rule? Tape rule is very important. You need to really know how to measure very well because if you don't know how to measure, if you don't know how to read your tape rule, that's going to be a very huge problem. And for the promise I have made from my introduction, I told you guys I'm going to really start from that very and that is why I'm starting from our tape rule. Tape rule is one of the most essential things you really need to know about in sewing. So on today's tutorial, I'll be talking about tape rule and I'll be talking about how we can keep our tape rule very safe because we really need to pamper our tape rule. Tape rule needs to be taken care of. You must not put our tape rule beside any eat stuff. That can actually shrink our tape roll and my dear if your tape roll has worn off by probably cutting or something you really need to get another one you know how cheap tape roll is because if you don't measure your client very accurately there, there will be a problem in sewing or cutting the cloth because if you measure wrongly with a worn out tape roll there will be an issue at the end of the day after sewing the fabric so we really need to know how to keep our tape roll safe and we really need to know how to read our tape roll because not everybody knows how to read tape roll. i'll be teaching us how to use our tape roll perfectly and correctly so if you're interested in this topic today stay tuned welcome back tape roll has suicide one is in inches and the other one is in centimeter but the one i'll be using today is going to be in inches tape roll is in eight division so here we'll be doing a little of addition subtraction division and multiplication this is my tape roll and i told you guys the other time that tape roll is in eight division this is one this is two this is three, this is four, five, six, seven, eight. And the eighth one is where the root one inch. So it goes like that on the two inches, three inches, four inches, up to 60. Our tape rule is on 60 inches. To draw in, I'll use my tempo so that you can, you can see that. This will be safe. This is our one inch. This is two, and this is three inch inches. So the halfway of our one inch. Same thing goes like this. So what I was counting for you on the tape rule the other time is this. One, we won't start from here. This is our zero point. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the eight, is where one one inch stops. Now, starting from here, this place again. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five, six, seven, and eight, which is the the two inches where two inches stopped. We really want to know how to read our tape rule. So this is going to be one over eight. It's going to be two over 8 this will be 3 over 8 and this long one which is the halfway of our 1 inch will be 4 over 8 this will be 5 over 8 yes. 6 over 8 7 over 8 and the 8 over 8 we all know is 1 
So the same thing applies to this one. One over one over eight, and this is seven over eight, and this is two inches. So if we are measuring it, and probably we got to this side of the tape row. We'll call it 8.5 but if you want to put it down in this 10 we'll call it our 8.5 is still the same thing as our 8 4 over 8 so that even if after 8 8.5 this is our 8.5 and maybe another point immediately after 8.5 and we are thinking that line is just too small we can manipulate we don't really need to manipulate if you can really read your tape rule very well to give you a very good result an accurate result my dear the next one is just going to be 8.5 over 8 every of this point has their own as their own calculation and we'll say 1 over 8 1 over 8 is 0 0.125 and 2 over 8 will give us 0 0.25 3 over 8 will give us 0 0.3 Two, five. 4 over 8 will give us 0 0.5 which is our half half of an inch this is just half of an inch is our 1 inch can really get this and apply it to your tape rule you've nailed it 0 0.125 times times 8 gives us one inch so let's do an example if a cuff is five two over eight so in allowance allowance four over eight the answer will be five six over eight. So this is what five six over eight is going to give us on our table. This is our five inch, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's our five six over eight, and our five six over eight is also the same thing as five point. So our six over eight, six over eight. Seven five. It's still the same answer. A little question. So you're going to give me the answer at the comment below. If our bicep is thirteen four over eight, and the sewing allowance is five over eight, I want you to let me know what the answer is going to be. By reading our ticker, you can give me your answer in two ways, like I have given you in my exam. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's of help to you. I really need to read your comment below. So give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not. I'd love to see you in my next video. Bye, see you next time.